Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing really well. I've just got back. I've been out garage sailing and thrifting all morning. I got out there at 7 a.m. It's now 10 a.m. It only took me three hours and I was able to come away with some really cool items. Stick around to the end of the video. I'll show you everything that I was able to pick up and how much I paid for it. So smash the like button, show your support. Let's dive into the first garage sale and I'll show you what I picked up. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. How are you? Morning, how are you? <laughs> what a cutie. Oh, boo boo. Oh, boobs. Boobs. <laughs> I love him. Hello. Oh, hello, girl. Hello, girl. Good girl. Good girl. How's it going? Good, thank you. It's all right. Happy Saturday. Yeah, absolutely. Happy Saturday. Wow, have a look Saturday. at it all. A lot of good stuff, hey? Yeah. Yeah, nice. Have you had the early birds come through? Just one. Oh, just one? one? Yeah. Oh, wow. We were, we were, we kept it under the radar. Did you, I saw it on Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, nice. Very, very good. You'll get a few because it's such a nice day. Is the Kenwood work? Yeah. What's that? The Kenwood. Kenwood. Does that one work okay? 30 bucks. Yeah. It's fully working. It's just yeah. a little bit old. A little bit old, is it? Yeah, like probably about five or six years old now, but I can run front left, front back, yeah. centre, and then the full back, and then it's even got those ones, but. Yeah, gotcha. Everything's Bluetooth now, so. Wow, well, it's it's pretty old school this one yeah, now, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, twenty bucks there. Twenty? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So all good, and you got the remote there with it too, yeah, hey? The remote, the remote doesn't have the back on it though. Oh, that's all right. The little clip thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sweet. All right. Oh, I'll, I'll take that. That's fine. Keep having a look around. Hey guys. Hey. How much you got on the North Face gear? Yeah, nice. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just checking the size, because I think, what's this one here for a size? So there's a small and a medium. It's just this one. Oh, there it is, it's a large. Yeah, cool. Um, all right, I'm going to keep having a bit of a look. So I have taken a bit of a risk, right? Like you can never guarantee that these hard goods are going to work. He did say that it worked and there was only a $20 price tag on it. So I have gone with a bit of a risk here. There's a bit of surface dust on it that I'm going to clean off and present it good for photos. Um, plug it in, see if it works well and, uh, and then try and get some good money for it. There were some comps on eBay. Uh, around about a $230 price point for a pre-owned model that I think was the one below this one. This exact model, there were no matches on eBay for it. Um, but yeah, if we can get around the 200 bucks for it off a $20 spend, that would be a pretty good result. These hard goods, while they are outdated technology, they do still sell on eBay. I've sold a number of them, and uh, even on Thursday, picking up a few, uh, a few VHS players as well. Uh, I am looking for that kind of stuff because there's really big margins if you can get it at the right price. Um, so just the one item, there are a few other items in there, the North Face, there are a few different clothing items that I could have purchased, but uh, across the board, all of our other sort of bric-a-brac type items, I don't typically look for in garage sales, so therefore, I had to pass on the majority of what they were trying to sell, but happy to get this little one to start the day, not too bad, and uh, we've got another couple to get into, so let's keep moving, garage sale number two coming up. Hey, how are you? How's it been this morning? We opened at seven and yeah. the boy here at six. <laughs> That's always the way, isn't like it? The, like hardcore garage sale people just like hanging over the fence and we're like, just, we haven't, like, it's not even out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we ended up like letting them in at like quarter two. I was still setting up because I was just getting anxiety from them staring at me. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? 
You've almost got to put your ad up for eight o'clock and hope that they turn up at seven. Well, I don't think that. I think that they would still turn up at six. Yeah. And it's like, like seriously, this old guy was just like, oh, you've got to hear this. I'm like, just let me put it out there. I'm like, come on. <laughs> It's just a universal start for a, uh, a garage sale, it must yeah, be. Yeah, and that's like, I mean, but I've just done a bunch of 5 a.m. starts this week, and you're like, you know what? I want to sleep until 6 today. I don't and blame you. Sick of, and you have a Yeah, I don't blame you. Hey, mate, how are you? Good, mate, yourself? Yeah, not bad. Yeah. I'd love to hear some music. Ooh, yeah, that's so. I was going to wait for children to get up and ask them to borrow the boys to connect us on actual. Oh yeah, I'm sure you wouldn't mind. I don't think you need to ask about it. How much on the Connies? Uh, what do you reckon, Jim? Yeah, and the hats? They're a dollar each. Dollar piece. Dollar a piece. I don't take it these are your vans. <laughs> How much on the vans? Um, ten dollars. Yeah. Oh, that's like, that's like cafe quality one, that one. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's the, uh, pumps, pumps <laughs> um, guys, the, the desk, I've just got these, I've just got a couple of hats. Would you take 30 for the lot? Yeah. Yeah, sweet. All right. So a couple of things out of that one, guys. Uh, I'm always looking for my hats. Don't sleep on the hats at the garage sales. You can always pick them up for a few bucks. Barney Cools, I grabbed this one. That was only a dollar. And then I also found Stussy. And if you guys can find that, a rainbow tie-dye, that will go on to sell very, very well. Also found that Toronto Raptors. I dug through the clothing items. They had been picked over with those guys that had got in there a little bit earlier than I had. But this was a size large, very, very good condition Toronto Raptors. That should go for about 30 bucks free postage. Only paid the dollar. So three hats, piece of clothing. I bought that uh, desk as well for 25 bucks on average when you take out these. Um, so for 25 bucks, that kind of a desk, I knew the color tone of being coastal, kind of that coastal type feel. It would go on to sell okay on Marketplace. Um, I don't think it'll go for too much though. I think it'll be more like a $75 sale price. I might make myself about $50 with that one there. So I'm always looking for the furniture. I'm not buying as much furniture as I used to, but I've still got an eye for it. And that one there should go for 75 and make me that 50 bucks. So I did make my way down to Palm Beach and uh, we are here now. I've grabbed myself a coffee and I've realized that the garage sale that I was about to go into was a Sunday only garage sale. So I'm a day early and I'm certainly not gonna wait around for tomorrow. I won't be going into that garage sale, unfortunately. Uh, and there aren't any other garage sales to check out today. So it has been a little bit slow. However, we do have a couple of thrift stores around the local area and I do wanna dive into it and see what we can find. So let's keep this day moving and uh, fingers crossed we can find some thrifted goods to sell on eBay. This was a really good thrift store, guys. We found the Vizsla board shorts, a great brand to be looking out for if you can find it. I did end up passing only because it was an $8 purchase price, but if you can find it for a little bit less, it's well worth getting. Also found the Ruka t-shirt as well for $7. I'm talking about this brand quite a bit. Uh, for $7 though for a tee, unfortunately not enough profit. This one though, the New York Giants, I will pick up because I know the sell-through rate is gonna be a lot quicker. So I did end up grabbing that, even though it was a size small. And then I found the Richmond Tigers 2020 back-to-back -back Premier's t-shirt. This was only $5. It was a plain gray, only a front print, nothing on the back, but I do think it will sell this week once I get it up onto my store. Also found this one as well. This was a size 14 Gold Coast Titans polo shirt, $7. I actually passed on that and I don't really know why because I really do think that would have sold for about $35 on eBay. Also found this Brazil football club jersey. This had Neymar number 10 on the back. It was a Thailand special though, so a fake jersey. Um, I'd only be putting this one on a Facebook marketplace and you can expect about $30 if you choose to do so yourself. This basketball jersey caught my eye. Didn't really know a lot about it. Let me know in the comments below if you know what this one is. But for $7, just simply not having enough information on it, I did pass on it. Also found this beautiful trauma pink t-shirt as well. I'm always looking for the band tees, but I'm never finding too much profit in them. So I did leave that one behind as well. 
This was really cool though. This might go for $50 to $60. This was a National Rugby League Tongan Football Club jersey. Um, I don't know if, it's, if I don't know if exactly it was a playing jersey from the looks of it though, because it does have the players on the back. Um, but as you can see there, a big cool front print and back print, and I reckon $50 to $60 for it. This one was more of a playing jersey in the Tongan Football League, more of a genuine type item. Um, again, I reckon another $50 or $60. Got to do my research on it, but very happy to find it for the very first time in the thrift. And then brand new with tags, a couple of really cool sporting items here, guys. I found the uh, Gonko Suns training top. Uh, that was a size large, uh, a pretty cheap purchase price. This one was a little bit extra. I paid $15 for this one, but it was a brand new with tags, New Zealand cycling jersey. And I do sell a lot of cycling stuff for a pretty fair price. So I was pretty happy to pick that one up, even paying the $15. So all of that coming in one thrift store, that doesn't happen every day. I was pretty happy to get all of that in the one store. I've never seen an op shop do their shoes like this in the Coles plastic bags, but we've got a bunch of Vans, we've got a bunch of Converse shoes, and they all range between $15 to $20. I wasn't able to buy too many of them, but this one really did catch my eye. For 20 bucks, we've got a Super Mario Brothers Cross Vans pair of high top shoes. They were a little bit dirty, as you can see there, but have a look at the branding. Look at that, Super Mario Brothers, Nintendo, Vans. I asked you guys, should I buy these for 20 bucks? 82% of you said yes, take them. And guess what? I actually passed. Also found these as well, uh, a New Balance 373. These are in pretty much light new condition. Have a look at them, clean and crispy. $15, it's the most that I'd pay for a pair of shoes. Given the quality of them, I ended up purchasing those ones. And then I found the Copas as well. These are the Adidas Copa 20.3 men's football boots. These were a US size eight, so the size wasn't too bad. $15 again being the most I'd pay. I was happy to get these considering the condition of them was so good. So some really good shoes there. I'm still probably reluctant on the uh, the Vans uh, let go with that Super Mario Brothers. Uh, maybe I should have grabbed them. Uh, this is a really good book series to look out for as well. Uh, Animal Friends or Magic Animal Friends by Daisy Meadows, a really good children's book author. If you're doing the books, but at $2 a piece, I unfortunately couldn't see the profit in those. And then I've got the problem with the plush, guys. We are back for yet another issue. Uh, we've got here the Mickey Mouse. Uh, uh, this was actually a vintage, very vintage. Um, not sure exactly what year but you could just tell um, had the old uh, branding on there with the tag and uh, with the $10 price point the comps I was seeing on eBay for this one was only about $30 which surprised me I thought there might have been a bit more in it so therefore my problem with the plush was uh, avoided and I uh, put that one back on the shelf all right guys so I've just got back home everything laid out here for you guys the garage sale was pretty quiet across the board unfortunately the desk was the other pickup I spent $50 on everything you can see there, the desk obviously being a good one as well. And then we jumped into the thrift and picked up a number of different items, a lot of them clothing, uh, a lot of them sporting uh, based items, as well as a couple of really good pairs of shoes. I've really honed in with my clothing items on just sport only because it just seems to sell quicker and I'm still getting a pretty good sale price for it. So a total of $63 spent in the thrift on everything you can see there and including the desk, a $50 spend there as well. So 14 items, $113 spend. And it's only 10 a.m. So in the space of just three hours, yes, it was a little bit quiet today, but we've still been able to pick up 14 great items that will all go on to sell for some great money on eBay. Only $113 spent as well, so there's gonna be a heap of profit. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed the video, guys. I know lockdown is happening a lot around Australia at the moment. Hopefully these videos can be a bit of motivation for you guys to uh, hopefully get back out there in the not too distant future. Thank you very much for tuning into these ones. I really do appreciate it. I'll leave you with another video right here of a garage sale run I did a couple of weeks ago. But for now, I'm going to go and list these items. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you soon.